Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents, for part two, part two of my um, Bartholin Cyst Removal and Recovery. So today is the fifth day since I had the Bartholin Cyst removed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my previous video. So I was supposed to go see the hospital's gynecologist, their recommended gynecologist, in two weeks. Now, I had previously tried to make an appointment, and they told me they didn't have anything until the 23rd. So I was like, I'm not waiting that long. So they told me to call the main hotline of the hospital, see if they could find me another gynecologist, which they did. And they booked the appointment for today, which I thought was too soon because they told me I needed a checkup in two weeks. Why would they book it the fifth day after, you know? <clears throat> but they booked this appointment for me. So I went. And this place is a, uh, it's a half gynecology, half pediatric facility next to the hospital. So I go there today and I thought I was seeing a doctor, but I was seeing a mid, a midwife. So anyway, I go there and I explain, you know, everything that happened. And they're like, well, why are you here so soon? Is there a problem? And I was like, no, the hospital made this appointment for me. I could not get an appointment with the original doctor they scheduled me for. So here I am. I'm here because the hospital told me to come here. So they're like, okay, we'll take a look and we'll see what's going on. Now, I thought by some miracle, they were going to take the catheter out and everything would be fine. And they would give me some kind of cream and they would tell me in a week I'd be okay. So what they told me was the catheter was falling out. It had gotten dislodged and it was hanging. So they had to remove the catheter. They didn't put another one in. They said that they recommend a catheter for four weeks. The hospital told me two weeks. These people said, I think four to six weeks. And they said, well, you know, the benefit of removing the catheter is that you'll be, the benefit of removing the catheter is that you'll be in less pain because you won't have the catheter sticking you. But the problem is it won't keep the wound open and keep it draining, so it could refill. But since the catheter had fallen out already and wasn't doing anything because it was just hanging, they, um, they opted to take it out, leaving me with a gaping wound, a gaping open wound, which they said could become infected, could refill with pus, could swell up again, and all kinds of horrible, wonderful things. So what did they do? They sent me home on a regiment of antibiotics, in addition to taking Tylenol, ibuprofen back and forth every three hours, I now have to take a antibiotic twice a day keep the area clean wear a pad which i got these thin pads because usually when i have my period i have i use a heavy overnight pad because i have like heavy flow but i don't i'm this is not for that this is for anything that leaks out of that wound so i got these thin thin pads because i don't what is the reason i need to walk around with a diaper you know so i got these cvs ultra thin pads without the wings, which usually I get always with the wings. But like I said, this is just for, to catch whatever drains out of that cyst. So I got that. <clears throat> so I have to wear this pad. I have to take these antibiotics. I have to continue with the Tylenol ibuprofen every three hours alternating. I have to monitor my temperature and make sure that I don't have any, if they said if I have any pain bleeding or fever to go immediately to the emergency room fun so yeah 
So now I have an open wound, which I thought having the catheter out would make me feel a lot better. And it does feel better having the catheter out, but it's still, my area is still tender and it still hurts to wipe. So I had to bite the bullet and order a perineal uh, bottle, which I explained in my last video what that is. I ordered a perineal bottle on Amazon. I think it comes in a three pack. It does. It's like $6 and something. It should be here by Sunday. So another day or so, because today is Friday. So by Sunday, it should be here. And in the meantime, I also picked up these wipes because I have wipes, you know, but I don't want to use anything with perfume. So this came in a three pack. These are uh, Pampers Sensitive fragrance free uh clinically proven for sensitive skin says do not flush um so i haven't been flushing them i have a little waste paper basket next to my toilet so this is fragrance free for sensitive skin so i made it wanted to make sure that i wasn't using anything with fragrance or dye or whatever while cleaning the area <coughs> and they told me it's still draining and it has an odor isn't that fun? It has an odor. So not only am I in pain and wounded, but now I'm also stinky. And the thing is, I could, I could smell it myself. And it's not, it's not like a BO smell. It's like a wound smell. It's hard to describe. So now... It looks like recovery time on average is four to six weeks. And I, uh, they gave me an appointment to go back in uh, one week. So today is Friday, less than a week. Today is Friday. I have to go back Thursday of next week to see... If the wound is refilling, if the if the the cyst is coming back, uh, if it's become infected, uh, if there's any kind of abscess or anything, so you know, just fun all around. Now today I took my first sits bath. Um, <coughs> it's okay. I mean, it's awkward. <laughs> It's awkward doing a sits bath, but hey, everything is a process now. Everything is a process. Sits baths, uh, antibiotics, pain regimen, cleaning gently, washing gently, having the, this timer go off every three hours for these damn meds, you know, all this stuff. Not, you know, not be able to walk right, not be able to move right, not be able to exercise, not be able to drive right. It's just a process and it's going to continue and continue. It's going to continue. Now, I asked the midwife if I was, what are the chances, you know, like, am I going to be okay? She's like, yes, the chances are very good that you'll be okay. Well, what are they going to say to you? Really? You know? You know, it's going to be horrific. Let me tell you, I bought, I brought my screaming towel with me because when they went to remove that catheter, even though the balloon had deflated, they still had to remove it. I still screamed and I still had my screaming towel with me for to scream. So, yeah, there was that. So, this will be a continuing series. So that anyone who has a Bartholin cyst or Bartholin's cyst, I guess it's named after some lucky person who discovered it or got it for the first time. Oh, yeah. So um, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. If you want to hit the thanks button and donate to my channel while I'm sitting here in horrible pain, that would be really sweet of you too. You don't have to, but that would be really nice. But in the meantime, comment, rate, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping Incense, and I will be back for another installment of this series probably next week, maybe sooner if there's a development. But until next time, 
Goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.